heading in to have a baby. Currently like 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> it's 5.30 in the morning, our earliest yet. But yeah, prime parking spot. <laughs> we did get a good parking spot. All right, let's go in. my Yeti cup right here. Shout out Dylan. Uh <laughs> Oh, oh, he's looking. He said it's bright, guys. It is bright. o'clock I'm finally we're in our actual room that we're gonna stay in for a little bit um, I'm all hooked up and itching because of my medication I'm opting to not get any medication to fix the itching because I don't want to be all drowsy um, but little baby boy is over here I haven't announced his name yet because um, we still need to like get him dressed and stuff and i'm not ready for that right now but um he's so cute he was so small he was six pounds 15 ounces smallest baby yet we had 9 13 for mila and then ezra was 8 3 so smallest baby so there he is all snuggled up in his little what are these called little bassinets and daddy's over there chilling. He hasn't eaten or anything all day. I feel so bad. He's basically fasting with me. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how little he was. He did so good. He just finished, he had to check all his blood sugars and stuff um, because of my gestational diabetes. So he's been a little champ getting all his little needles and shots and stuff. So cute. I feel like every second his little face is changing. I feel like he definitely looks more like Mila because his hair is darker. But he does have that little Montoya nose like both the kids. Getting ready to take his announcement pictures. We're gonna announce his name. And his weight and height.
and that newborn smell is to die for. It is so cute. He's got the darkest hair. It's staying dark. He's got that little Montoya nose and lips. And those little eyebrows, those perfect eyebrows. He's literally so perfect. I could not believe it that we had three beautiful babies. And he came out so healthy. That was the most important part for me was him coming out healthy, especially with all of the problems, my gestational diabetes and my low amniotic fluids and stuff. Like everything was just going crazy. So, and I was glad we made it to 38 weeks. So I was just really happy he came out healthy regardless of everything that was going on with our pregnancy. But he's doing so good. Breastfeeding like a little champ. We're ready to go home tomorrow. Oh, you ready to meet brother and sister? Like I said in my hospital pack with me video, there's a lot of stuff I didn't bring because they give you stuff. I literally got a free hand pump, um, a Della hand pump, which these are like $30. <clears throat> and then I got a free pacifier. I've got free blankets, free nose sucker. I got this drawer is full of free diapers, my blanket from home, but um, wipes. I'm going to be able to take all that stuff. And then the bathroom is loaded with di uh, diapers for myself and like um, little underwear, mesh underwear things that I can take home. So the hospital provides so much here. I know hospitals vary, but definitely my hospital provides a lot of fun little freebies and they give you like eye masks and little earplugs and all that sorts of stuff that you can take home with you little goodies so that is really good to know when you're packing your bag that you don't have to bring so much stuff big daddy coming through with the Popeyes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh yeah got our celebratory meal. Michael got the bacon wrap filet mignon and I got some fettuccine alfredo with shrimp. A little champagne. I think it's like apple juice or something. Um, salad and cheesecake. So hungry. And then we get discharged in like a few minutes. So we get to eat and run, dine and dash. And this little cutie is all ready to go home and meet his siblings so excited to take him home and have all my babies together. It is time to put Luca in his car seat. We're ready to go home. We just got discharged. We're trying to, Michael's trying to untangle. This was Ezra's car seat. So we're trying to make sure it's all good to go for a little newborn because last time it was used it was used by a big old one and a half year old Out of here. Oh, We're no. done. Here we go. Hi. Look. Oh, 
your brother. He's so happy. Oh, he farted on you. <laughs> he cheated on you. Where? This? It's a mitten so he doesn't scratch himself. This is on. I love you. Very gentle. Gentle. You love him, sister? Very Be gentle. Be gentle. Be gentle. We are home now and we are all settled in as a family of five. So crazy to think we have three of these little nuggets <laughs> running around our house now. Or two running around. One that will run around eventually, but it's so crazy to think that we have three kids now. Um, but yeah, we are so happy to be home and out of the hospital. The hospital was killing me and my back. I literally feel like I need to go see a chiropractor because of how bad my back hurts from the hospital beds. Um, but I feel like we're gonna get some good sleep tonight. He's already ready for bed. Got his little outfit changed. He's ready to hit the hay. <laughs> I'm ready to hit the hay. I'm exhausted. Um, I've got his sound machine going and everything in his little um, Snuggle Me Organic in the bed to help with everything at night and trying to keep him cozy and cuddly and everything. Um, so I'm ready to go to sleep. The kids are ready for bed and a new adventure begins. It's so exciting. Um, but I hope you guys liked today's video of Luca Gray's birth vlog. If you did give it a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss out on any more vlogs with our new growing family so we will see you guys in the next vlog bye